New in Israel, a boutique toilet store. You walk by this store on this busy Tel Avivian street right by the Carmel Market. And from the outside, it seems just like any other storefront. Only that this one features toilets, not for purchase, but for use. Let's take a look. This is a store that uh, uh, the major part of the store is to go to the loo, the toilet. For humankind, there are some needs, food, drink, sleep, and to go to the toilet. For food, drink, sleep, we have all kind of uh, brands. There is no brand for going to the toilet. But if you are hanging around in the street, you need to go to the toilet. If you are going, if you are a tourist, if you are going for shopping, if you are going for entertainment with your kids, where do you want to go to the toilet? And to have a nice toilet, this is something that you won't find. So we are entering in this need. And there is a, a whole concept about using the toilet. Why do you want to see? Why are you feeling the, fi the nice feeling that you're going to have in the toilet, that you feel that you want to come again, and you are willing to pay for a good service, to pay money for it. This European trend has infiltrated the Israeli market, which does have toilets for pay at bus stations, among other locations. However, the service, hygiene, and costs are not the same. It cost three shekels to use one of these boutique toilets, about half a euro. But the feel is not of a regular public bathroom, but almost like you've entered a hotel washroom. Let's go to the toilet. Each one is uh, designed differently. The colors are very bright and very happy. You have a place to put your coat. You have a place to put your bag. You have a place for everything that you need here. And uh, of course, it's very happy. You have music and light and privacy. And it's very fun to use those toilets. Here we will have the city of Tel Aviv. Each one is uh, designed a little bit different. This is the Tel Aviv beach, which makes you feel a little bit inside the sea. This is the men's part. It has the same decor, but it has urinals as well. Everything here is uh, automatic. The toilets and also the soap, the water. So that you don't touch anything and everything you, is hygienic. Yes, everything is hygienic. You don't touch anything at the toilet as well. The water are flushing automatically. And uh, we thought about uh, the fact that you, when you go to the toilet, you want to stay clean. And of course, it's a matter of saving uh, water and soap and materials, not to run them out. So it's, uh, it's also green to use an uh, automatic system. The store hosts about 400 people a day who are interested in the experience. How was it inside? Beautiful. You enjoyed the experience? Yes. Are you afraid that other companies will see your idea and start mimicking it? We think that we're going to be the McDonald's of the Lou, uh, but uh, of course there are going to come company who wants to mimic it. But it's not so easy, and it's not so easy to build a brand, and it's not so easy to build, a, a, you need to have a capital in order to do that. And uh, till then we are growing and growing. The store opens Sunday through Friday and closed on the Sabbath in compliance with the usual Israeli store's operating hours. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Tel Aviv.